Yes. I hope you could all hear me and see the screen properly. Yes. Come and me fast on the chat box. Guys, one second. Guys, can you all see my screen properly? Guys, one second. And uh, hear my voice? Is it everything is fine? Guys, can you all see my voice? Yes? Is there any problems of echo or something like that? Tell me fast, fast. Okay, yes, let me turn off. Yes. Okay, what's now? Is there any echo? Now is everything going fine and well? Yes. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. A very warm and a hearty welcome to everybody of me 2021 2022 as well as the droppers batch. Everyone, welcome to the super amazing, super cool, super awesome, and absolutely amazing session on the very first unit of class 12th NCRT that is reproduction in organism I hope at least some of you might have studied this chapter in your school and you felt this chapter is somewhat easy but some questions which may come in the NEET examination will twist your knowledge they will asking they will be asking a twisting kind of a question from this chapter fine Yes, good morning, Sunita, Little Explorer, Samriti, Harini Dev, Nila. Yes. Fine. Can you all hear me? Am I audible to everybody? Give me a thumbs up on the chat box fast. If you are ready for the session, we would begin the super cool session, which will be followed by a menti quiz. Ready for the quest? After the session. So this is a super amazing lecture on the first day for BioPoint 2021, 15, 9, 20. This is the schedule for the day at sharp 10.30 because of the technical problems. We would begin three minutes late. Okay, at 10.30 sharp, we would be having the reproduction organism, the ongoing session. And at 4.30, I'll be again coming back with the super amazing session for class 11 students as well as 2021 students about the chapter digestion and absorption that will also be followed by a menti quiz okay so don't forget to like share subscribe and leave a comment as i always tell don't forget to leave the comment below the session of in the public comment section ready for the super amazing session on the very first chapter reproduction in organism i hope uh, you should not need an introduction about the biology syllabus all of you may be feeling is with biology right neha belwal it is starting okay it's going on the live okay listen in the class fine so in the very first unit we'll be discussing about the first four chapters about reproduction 
you will be getting a maximum of 13 or 14 MCQs for your NEET examination from this. Okay, from this chapter. 12 into 4, which makes 48 marks. It's not a simple thing. 48 out of 360 is a very high score. We should make add and adding up of scores, right? So if you study the simple four chapters, we'll definitely score more than 48 marks for our NEET examination, which is going to happen on next May. Okay, so with all your permission, with all your hearts on the screen, I'm beginning the chapter reproduction in organism. As you all know, in your class 10th onwards, you are studying about the term reproduction. Okay, reproduction. Yes, guys, this should not be a teacher-student class. Okay, this should be an interactive lecture. Okay, I need your support, your interaction over here. Ready? You have to comment out your answers, what's going on in your mind, what all things do you need, explanations, more, all these things you have to comment. Okay, if you ask you a certain question, you have to comment with the Josh in the class. Yes, with all your Josh in the class, beginning once again, reproduction. Reproduction is the process in which an organism reproduces, that is, produces young ones similar to itself. Okay, sorry. Okay, thank you, Nila, little explorer. Perfect. So, reproduction is a process in which an organism produces its young ones similar to itself. The period from birth till natural death of an organism is called a lifespan. Okay, so the period from birth till natural death of an organism will be calling it as a lifespan. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button, okay? Just give your support by hitting the like button. Yes. Guys, this lifespan, this question was a previous year AIMS MCQ. Assertion reason question. Okay, this simple question was asked for the AIMS examination. So you may imagine how important the simple thing is. Right? So the period from birth till natural death of an organism is called a lifespan. Okay. For example, in unicellular organism, in unicellular organism, there is no natural death. There is no natural death. Can any one of you name a unicellular organism? Fast on the chat box. A unicellular organism which reproduces asexually. Tell me fast on the chat box. Unicellular organism. Example. Yes, I want the chat should be flowing with the comments. Yes, fast. Yes, little explorer. Very good. It is amoeba. Amoeba, when you see the parent organism will definitely be splitting up into two daughter cells. So the content, what is hidden in the parent is only seen in both the daughter offspring. Right? So that is why we are telling that the unicellular organisms are immortal. Unicellular organisms are immortal because there is no natural death for unicellular organism based on the number of participants participant means how many parents are involved in the reproduction it can be divided into mainly two types that is sexual reproduction as well as asexual reproduction fine with the slide number one everybody so we uh, studied about the basic terms mentioned in the chapter what do you mean by reproduction reproduction followed by lifespan the unicellular organisms are immortal then based upon the number of participants reproduction can be classified into two kinds sexual reproduction as well as asexual reproduction yes this is what we have to study next that is lifespan we already discussed in the slide number one that is lifespan is a period from birth till natural death of an organism you don't need to buy heart this entire table. Okay, do, no need of buy hearting the entire table. Okay, fine. No need to buy heart this entire table. I'll be just telling you about certain 
names of the organisms which you have to get by heart okay you have to just imagine only no need to just by heart everything because it is not so important okay for example the rose plant five to seven years if you look at your ncrt textbook class 12th ncrt textbook you have an assignment like this on your second page of your ncrt uh, of this chapter second page of your ncrt with the help of diagrams so if some columns there are missing you have to fill it so you can get down the answers from over here in this slide if you are taking your ncrt with you fine yes so rose it is five to seven years rice plants three to seven months this you have to study banyan tree it is 400 500 years of lifespan okay banyan tree you have to study 400 plus years is a lifespan then fruit fly we have to study fruit fly those who have studied molecular basis of inheritance they may be knowing fruit fly drosophila melanogaster are you all remembering the term fruit fly drosophila melanogaster right yes so that is also important that is why it was taken for the genetical experiments we will be discussing in the upcoming chapters okay with the concept of molecular basis it is a very very difficult chapter which all the students just exhibits difficulty so i'm sure that i'll just make you very thorough and clear with the chapters of genetics we'll go very slowly with the concept maps everything we'll be telling okay fine everyone so fruit fly drosophila melanogaster the lifespan is just two weeks then tortoise the lifespan is 100 to 150 years so all these are some of the term which you have to study the most important or the re repeatedly asked question from this table is two weeks fruit fly fine i hope you are taking down it in your ncrt textbook yes next we will be moving with the asexual reproduction tell me fast on the chat box which all are the different means of asexual reproduction that you guys know we have studied about this in very detailed manner in our class 10th cbse students icc students in 10th standard as well as 6th standard onwards they will be studying state board also 10th standard they will be studying about the asexual reproduction tell me which are the different methods of asexual reproduction one by one everyone yes technical family and very good it is fission another one let me check who is going to have the full josh in the class and make the glass rocky get rocking yes binary fission multiple fission budding another one only binary fission and budding all children know i want another more terms tell me guys don't leave the class because this will be followed by the menti quiz okay menti quiz on what we taught today in the class yes absolutely fragmentation vegetative propagation budding binary fission fragmentation absolutely regeneration all these things are very important for us in this neat point of view okay so we are going to move with the chapter that is asexual reproduction what are the properties? Yes, absolutely. Neha, Behwal, Hadni, Dev, all these spore formation is also very good during the time of unfavorable condition. Okay. So what are the characteristics of asexual reproduction? The production of offspring will be followed or with the help of only a single parent. This is an important term. Okay. In case of asexual reproduction, we will be having only a single parent. It is seen in unicellular organisms, simple plants and animals. Guys, this was a previous year JIPMA question. Previous year JIPMA paper, you may see this question. Asexual reproduction is common in. It is not only in unicellular organisms, guys. Asexual reproduction is a common method of reproduction in unicellular organisms simple plants as well as simple body structured animals so that point should be very clear for you then the offspring formed are identical to one another they will be the offspring formed by asexual reproduction are morphologically and genetically similar to the parent 
so you will call the products of asexual reproduction as clone at least five times repeated mcq for neat at least five times repeated mcq for neat understood everybody understood so guys this is what it means suppose this is the parent this is a parent the parent will divide into two offspring right the two offsprings will be identical in shape morphological features as well as internal body features they will be having genetically they will be having the same sequence because they are the formation formed by a single parent there is no fusion of gametes there is no formation of gametes right so what let's have a look at what are the types of asexual reproduction so already you have told that fission fission is also of two types we will be discussing about binary fission as well as about the multiple fission can any one of you name me an organism showing multiple fission anybody can anybody tell me an organism showing multiple fission yes let me check who ever tells his answer first is it amoeba is it amoeba please think please think before you answer no issue whether you make wrong then only i can be able to understand and explain you the answer uh, binary fission by amoeba absolutely nila absolutely sunita plasmodium 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 vivax which causes the malaria okay plasmodium causes malaria will be showing the image of plasmodia okay plasmodia is an organism that causes malaria we have to study about each and every point related to plasmodium life cycle on the chapter human health and disease class 12 okay we'll be moving with it absolutely fine you guys are just rocking amazing the session very good keep it up okay so binary fission multiple fission budding and vegetative propagation we will be discussing in the class fine next one binary fission fission means the parent cell divides into two or more individuals for example protists and monirans show this particular property so the binary fission or simply what does the term fission refers to the parent cell will be dividing into two or more daughter cells okay for example there are two types of fission first one is a binary fission second one is a multiple fission okay that is binary fission is the division of the parent cell into two new individuals only two new individuals multiple fission is a division of parent cell into many individuals now some of you might have a confusion right somebody have told me about amoeba uh, shows multiple fission exactly amoeba but it is not simply amoeba it is insisted amoeba during unfavorable condition only yes absolutely nila going good fine yes it's not simply amoeba it is insisted amoeba which shows multiple fission the main organism that shows multiple fission always is plasmodium this is the multiple fission process in plasmodium look how many different organism how many offsprings are formed in case of plasmodium by binary uh, multiple fission look the condition with binary fission this is the parent cell the parent cell will be dividing into two daughter cells look the paramecium dividing into binary fission to form two daughter cell but look at the condition with plasmodium the single parent cell divides into how many these all are new new organism okay these all are the daughter cells will be released in the form of spore like structures so all these are new organism fine and when it comes into case of insisted amoeba during the unfavorable condition small nuclei like this are formed in the cytoplasm of amoeba finally it will lead to the formation of spore and when the condition becomes favorable the spores are released the amoeba releases the spores guys are you all understanding neha bell wall 
technical tamlian sunita meeri little explorer uh, then who are the others over there in the class harini dev samrati are you all understanding the points nirmal samiksha everybody understanding everything taught in the class till now fine let's move on with the next guys these are all the simple chapters which we are dealing in our 12th standard okay under unfavorable condition amoeba withdraws its pseudopodia tell me what is pseudopodia on the chat box tell me what yes rujana very good yes tell me what uh, on the chat box what do you mean by pseudopodia fast let me check who is going to answer it first who is going to have the fastest typing speed yes fast guys we have to do the main tea quiz i wanted a tight competition between everybody in the main tea quiz and i wanted to know who is going to score uh, the first who is going to be the topper yes what do you mean by pseudopodia tell me fast on the chat box no issues whether it is right or wrong tell what do you mean by pseudopodia i'll give you a clue pseudo means false yes locomotory organ of amoeba absolutely absolutely it was a correct answer i think she retracted the message it was a correct answer locomotory organ of amoeba itself is pseudopodia okay pseudopodia pseudo means false podia means feet or the structure used for movement so it will mean false feet absolutely harini devi false movable organ yes nila false stage or false feet yes it secretes during the unfavorable condition what does this amoeba do it secretes a three layered hard covering and that three layered hard covering is known as cyst it will be calling it as the process known as encystation guys i want your response absolutely it's no issues where where whether it gets wrong right or whatever in the yesterday's class itself i told all the people will not be having the same mental ability the main uh, same brain capacity okay so it doesn't matter this is the way we study no feel of shyness issue anything over here no teasing nothing it's where you are free to express your feeling okay guys yes so the process is called encystation under favorable condition encysted amoeba undergoes multiple fission give many minute amoeba or pseudopodiospore i already told you they will be like the spore spore like structure so that you will be calling it as a minute amoeba or the pseudopodiospore the cyst wall breaks and the spores are liberated to grow up many amoeba and that process you will call it as the sporulation fine everyone so we studied about two new terms sporulation and encystation yes we are going to tell about the next one that is a process of budding what do you mean by budding budding means a small outgrowth appears from the parent body looks a small outgrowth appears from the parent body a small outgrowth appears from the parent body so this bud appears and grows in the plant body after maturation it gets detached from the parent body to form a new individual this is the previous year mcq okay you have to understand that the bud will only get detached from the parent body after maturation only for example you can see budding in hydra sponges yeast guys tell me on the chat box i hope you all are 11th completed students tell me fast on the chat box to which phylum does sponges belong to anybody can answer to this question anyone sponges belongs to the phylum studied in the chapter animal kingdom so i need the answer for this no issues just give uh, an answer give an answer yes absolutely srujana harini very good it is poriferans 
So poriferins, when you have studied, you might have studied about the structures called gemmules. What are gemmules? Gemmules are the asexual reproductive structures in case of poriferins. Gemmules are the asexual reproductive structures in case of poriferins. Fine. Okay, so hydra, sponges and yeast. They will be asking you. Hydra shows the formation of bud. Yeast shows the formation of bud. Sponges, how do they reproduce asexually? By gemmule formation. Guys, these two diagrams are there in your NCRT. This diagram is there in your NCRT and these two diagrams are also there in your NCRT. And you may expect one of the questions. Sometimes you can expect this question in today's Menti quiz. Okay, if you are lucky, you will get the questions directly from these diagrams. Okay. Next one, fragmentation. No need, I think no need of further explaining it, everything because all these things studied in the 10th standard, right? Fragmentation means the body breaks up into distinct pieces and that each piece you will call it as a fragment. For example, spirogyra, planaria, hydra, right? Fragmentation, regeneration process. Actually, fragmentation by certain fragment, they are capable of growing into an adult organism. For example, hydra, then planaria, spirogyra. All these things shows fragmentation plus regeneration property also. Does any of the organs in our body shows this regeneration capacity? Anybody? Future doctors, tell me. Future doctors, tell me on the chat box. Does any organs on our body shows this property of regeneration? Can we say hair? If hair is detached from the body, then? Yeah, I'm asking about name an internal organ, an internal organ showing regeneration capacity. Is it nail? Nail and hair and all are outside structures. They are just the protrusion of uh, the epidermal layers. No, 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 it is not nail skin. It's not. It's not an internal organ. Tell me an internal organ which is associated with absolutely technical thumbnail. It is liver. Guys, have you heard about liver? The largest gland of our body. Today evening, 4.30 4 sharp. Join in the class. You will know more about the liver. Okay? Liver. You all know about liver. The largest gland of human body. So, liver has the capacity of regeneration. I hope you got the point. Yes, Priya Banik, Little Explorer. Very good. Guys. From here onwards, listen very, 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 very carefully because we are going to expect some sure short question from these parts of the chapter. From vegetative propagation. Have, it, have the Josh in the class, we are beginning the session. The production of offspring from vegetative propagules present in the plants, you will call it as vegetative propagation. What do you mean by pro vegetative propagules? The small structures which helps in vegetative propagation. Tell me some of the vegetative propagules. Tell me some of the uh, areas from where you can grow a new plant. In your home, how do you cultivate a new plant? Tell me some of the method which you adopt. Yes, don't make the class too lag. Tell me fast on the chat box. Yes, rhizomes in ginger. Yes. Next one. Fast, fast. In a splash of second, I should get the answers fast. Rhizome is a very good example. Next one. Yes, bulb. In case of onion, you will get runner. Very good. Potato tuber. Next one. Sucker, bulb, everything. Absolutely. All these are examples of Yes, offset. Everything are examples of vegetative propagule. If we simply tell that stem, root, leaf, uh, okay, stem, 
root, leaf, and all these things are examples of vegetative propagules. So vegetative propagules are the units of vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagules are the units of vegetative propagation. So you have to study this thing that is for example when you I have shown very clearly in the diagram you could see bryophyllum bryophyllum water hyacinth bulbil rhizome eyes of the potato everything is fine and perfect on the slide am i right yes so this is the tube eyes of potato these are the eyes of potato from where the new plants are going to arise next rhizome of ginger example also you have to study guys eyes of potato rhizome of ginger then bulbil of agave agave image i'll show in the next class i hope it's not there if yes it's here i'll show you leaf buds in bryophyllum offset in water hyacinth guys in case of water hyacinth if you go into the pond suppose this is the water hyacinth you imagine okay this is a water hyacinth okay so this water hyacinth will be connected to an adjacent plant also the same adjacent plant will also be connected with it suppose if a person coming and pulling out this plant this plant will automatically get pulled out because they are interconnected and that interconnection you will call it as the offset I hope you have seen bryophyllum now on the screen. Those who have until this is how the new plants are going to arise. How wonderful is the creations, right? Yes. Take a screenshot and save it or it is there in your NCRT textbook. The image is there in your NCRT. Yes. Bud or eyes of potato tuber. First example, clear. Second one, rhizome of banana and ginger. Second example. Then, buds and rhizome, that is bud as well as rhizome arises from the node of modified stem. CBSC, those who are preparing for your board exam, CBSC 2020 question. CBSC biology 2020 question, one mark multiple choice question. Buds and rhizome originates from... They will be asking you nodes of the modified stem, inter nodes of the modified stem, axillary buds, like this, definite, different options will be there. So the correct answer was buds and rhizome arises from the nodes of modified stem. Yes. The nodes come in contact with the damp soil or water and produces new roots and plants. Next third one is the adventitious buds of bryophyllum. They arises from the margin of the leaf. They arises from the margin of the leaf. Next one, bulbil of agave. Agave bulbil. Offset formation in water hyacinth. Then some more examples of vegetative propagation are or vegetative propagules. Runner, sucker, tuber, bulb. Bulb is seen where? Can anyone tell me? Where can you see the bulb? Vegetative propagule is the bulb. I'm not asking about bulbil, bulbil in agave. I'm asking about bulb, B-U-L-B, bulb, as a vegetative propagule. Yes? If you know, please tell me on the chat box fast. Yes, absolutely, Strujana, it is. Onion, yes, absolutely. So, let's just have to look about the other asexual reproductive structures also. What are the other asexual reproductive structures? First one is the sous spore. Some of you might be hearing this for the first time. Sous spore. You have studied about those who are 12th standard students now. They might be knowing about the different kinds of spore. Because garlic and all we will discuss. Okay, Garlic is also the same like the bulb. Because the leaf modification, the leaves are cl clustered together to have that particular structure right it is also an example for bulb perfect those who studied the uh, 11th standard chapter biological classification you might have studied about a number of spores ascospores, basidiospore, aplanospores right 
all different kinds of spores you studied so it is not related with anything you have to be very careful Zoo spores are the microscopic motile structures present in certain algae and protists for example chlamydomonas guys this diagram is very essential okay since no diagram based question was asked for NEET 2020 and most of the question nearly 10 or 14 question was matched the following next time we could expect a diagram based question a sharp a sharp spike in the number of diagram based questions next year so you have to be careful about it now itself clear with the thorough with the diagrams and go conidia formation in penicillium gemmule formation in sponges all these are asexual reproductive structures please refer all these diagrams these are directly extracted from your ncrt those who have your ncrt on your hand you may observe these three diagrams in the fourth page of the ncrt of this chapter I, to my knowledge it's correct i don't know the exact page number for that the fourth page of the ncrt okay then the asexual reproduction is a common method in simple organisms like algae and fungi during the onset of adverse conditions suppose if a bacteria leaves under cold condition when it becomes so hot they will shift into sexual method of reproduction higher plants reproduce yes harmi dev thank you so much page number six of your ncrt you have this diagram which is very essential mark it right now higher plants reproduces asexually and sexually but most of the animals only show sexual mode of reproduction yes yes today's topic we have successfully completed today's topic yes have you all understood have you all understood what we taught and discussed in today's class we need only one more class to complete this entire chapter yes if you like the session give me hearts on the screen give me hearts on the screen after which we'll move on to the super amazing menti quiz yes we'll move on to the super amazing menti quiz after this give me hearts on the screen yes so in tomorrow's class we'll starting from the sexual reproduction in organism okay don't leave the class all your eyes on the screen you will have today's menti code yes you will have today's menti code on the screen yes guys this is the super amazing menti quiz code for the day Go to www.menti.com and use the code 15291128. 1559128 is the Menti code for the day. Go to www.menti.com and use this code 15591128. You will have the link to join into the Menti in your group right now. Join fast into the quiz. Yes, press the hearts on the screen, everybody. Press the heart. All of you first give a try. And if you are not able to join into the quiz, you can watch the questions in the YouTube. No issue for that. Go to www.menti.com and use the code 15 59 128. is the Menti code. The link and the code is available in the group. Okay. Yes, it's reached seven. We'll be starting right now. Whoever gives the answer first will be able to join into the quiz so fast and will be scoring. So, yes. Now I need all your participation. Yes, absolutely, everybody. Yes, anybody more wants to join? Have all joined the quiz? Have you all joined for the quiz? Yes. Have you all joined for the quiz? Let me check who is the winner for the day. Yes. 
So starting the quest in three, starting the quest in two, starting the quest in one and all your eyes on the screen. First question appears on the screen right now. The most significant feature of vegetative propagation is that option A, it is a method of producing a large number of individuals genetically identical to the parent. It is a method of producing a large number of individuals genetically different from the parent. It ensures that the progeny individuals are resistant to disease and pests. It is an age old practice. Those who are not able to join the quiz, no issues. Come and me the answer on the chat box. Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. Priya, Priya Banik, uh, the link and the code is there in the group. The link is there in our Telegram group. Go to www. Oh, oh. Go to www.menti.com and use the code. In Google, you have to take www.menti.com and you have to enter this code. One five five nine one two eight is the code. Yes, Priya. Yes, you can join right now. Also, no issues. Guys, the most significant feature of vegetative propagation is that it is a method of producing a large number of genetically identical. We called it clones, right? Next leaderboard on the screen. Let's check who all are the top scorers. Yes. Guys, this is the leaderboard for the day right on the screen now. Yes. We have 824 points, Rujana, the little explo, uh, Harney Dev, Botty McFord Base, Kea, Calvin, Kruti, Om Ligip. Yes, absolutely. Second question on the screen. Two out of five questions. Next one. No wasting of time. Yes, and NCRT exemplar questions. You know, NCRT exemplar questions are very important. Read all the four options and then only click the correct answer. There are various types of reproduction. The type of reproduction adopted by an organism depends upon. Yes, tell me fast on the chat box. Those who are watching it on the YouTube live, others click the answer fast. We have six seconds remaining. Yes, time is up. Let's check which is the correct answer. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Amazing, guys. Amazing. So the various type of reproduction depends upon the organism's habitat, the organism's physiology, and the genetic makeup. It is not only habitat, morphology, it depends upon not only morphology and physiology, it depends upon morphology, physiology, and the organism's habitat. So option D will be the correct answer. Second leaderboard on the screen, let me check whether there is any changes on the leaderboard. Yes, yes, there. Next time onwards, I'll read the option. Okay, perfect. Yes, very good. Harni Dev is the first 1658 points. Srujana 1585, no issue. Calvin 1242, Kriti 934, Little Explorer 800, Appu 744, Kea 739, Arm Legate 0 points. No issue, no issue. Third question, three on five on the screen. Yes, third question on the screen. Appearance of vegetative propagules from the node of plants such as sugar cane and ginger is mainly because I have told this in class, I have told, right? NCRT exemplar question. Option E, nodes are shorter than inter nodes. B. Nodes have meristematic cells. C. Nodes are located near the soil. Option D. Nodes have non-photosynthetic cells. Yes. Appearance of vegetative propagules from the node of sugarcane and ginger. Guys, nodes are shorter than internodes. No. Nodes have meristematic cells. How will an organ how will a new part grow? From the meristem. From the meristem, a plant grows, right? So this is not the answer, right? A is not the answer. A is not the answer. A plant always grows from the meristem, right? So the nodes have the meristematic cells. That is why the appearance of vegetative propagules 
or the new plants taking place through that. Let's have the third leaderboard on the screen. Yes, oh, oh, what happened with everyone? Yes, absolutely, absolutely fine, perfect. Calvin, 2114 points. Kriti with uh, 1877. Harni Dev, 1658. Srijana 1585, Appu 1563, Kaya 1320, Little Explorer 800, Mass Om Legit Priya Ban. You can again come up. Okay. Fast. Fourth question on the screen. You have two more. Don't lose the hope. Next question on the screen. Guys, we have a maximum limit of only five questions. Otherwise, we have to get it updated. A regular platform is not this. Slido is our regular platform. Yes. The property of an undifferentiated cell that has the potential to develop into an entire plant is called budding, cloning, subpotency, totipotency. I haven't told this in the class. Those who know the answer just have the answer on the screen. The property of the plant should generate a whole plant from a single organism. Absolutely fine, guys. It is. Totty potency. It is not cloning. It is not budding. Okay. The answer is totty potency is the correct answer. What do you mean by totty potency? Totty potency means it is a property of a plant or a cell to develop into an entire plant. Yes, absolutely. Totty potency is the answer. Leave the board on the screen. We have only one more question remaining. Yes. Yes, always changing in the leaderboard. 2923 Calvin, Harni Dev, Srujana, Appu, Kriti, Kaya, Little Explorer, Hitler, Om Legit, Priya Bani. Next question, last and final question of today's Menti Quiz on the screen. After this, we'll see. Uh oh. Sorry, guys, there was a little issue. Let me check it off. Yes. Fifth question on the screen. Dash refers to an asexual reproduction process wherein genetically identical copies of individual plants are produced. Asexual process wherein genetically identical copies of individual plants are produced. Layering, binary fission, clonal propagation, none of the above. Yes, three seconds remaining. Yes. Guys, the correct answer is clonal propagation. I already told you Menti will not be our regular platform, but for you to make you do diagram based questions, match the following everything, we'll come back to this. But the issue is that only five questions per Menti. So, if we have to do 20 questions, we have to uh, do four different menti. It's not an issue with me. I'll, I'm ready to do, but your support should be there with me. Because each time after each five questions, you have to enter a new code and enter. I hope. Yes. Leaderboard on the screen. You can just, uh, have your rank on the screen. Yes, absolutely perfect. Perfect, everybody. Perfect. Harni Dev with 3446 points is the top scorer. Congratulations. Okay, next we have the Calvin. 2923 points. I think Calvin got the last answer wrong. Yes. Srijana 2471, then uh, Appu with 2411, Kaya with 2049, I don't know what's the name of the next one, Little Explorer 800, Hitler 789, Priya Banik 770, no issues, no issues anyway, big congratulations to everybody, don't forget to join for the super amazing class, sharp at 430 on the next chapter that is digestion 
and absorption. How was the class, everybody, my new students especially? How was the class going? How was the class going? How was the class going, everybody? How is the class going? It is it was okay for the new students? Tell me on the chat box. Yes. So we'll be continuing with this amazing sessions all throughout. Yes, we'll be there with you. Yes, thank you, Calvin. Thank you so much. So don't forget to leave the comment below. That is in the public comment section. This is our schedule, sharp at 4:30. I'll be okay. Wagar Ahmed at Hitler, I haven't uh, forced anyone to join the class, right? Actually, you are in standard 10. I hope you are uh, in CBSE student. Right? Wagar Ahmed at Hitler, I hope you are a CBSE student. And to the most surprising event, these all will be asked for CBSE class 10 also. Oh, you are ECSE. Okay, perfect. So you don't need to study all these chapter. These are, are your ninth standard topics. Ninth, eighth standard topics, all these things. Okay, no issue with that. Okay. Okay, fine, guys. So at sharp 4.30, I'll be coming out with the next chapter, digestion and absorption. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Wahar Ahmed, it was not my issue why you felt boring because... This was not a chapter which was included in your syllabus. Okay, that's why. Anyway, it's your wish to give like or dislike or whatever. But those who are really pleased with the class, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave a comment. Perfect. Don't forget to leave the comments in the comment section. The I'll give you a homework. I'll give you a homework in order to come in, in the public comment section. Uh, yes, what should I give you as a homework? You have to comment in the public comment section something which is related with today's class, right? Yes, you have to find out you have to find out The examples, you have to find out the examples of unisexual, bisexual organisms. That is monoecious, dioecious organisms. And you have to leave your comment on the comment section. Those who are first leaving the comment, I'll include the screenshot of that particular comment in the next lecture. In the evening lecture, I'll be just displaying the top comments on the screen. Those who are doing it the very first time will get your name on the screen in today's evening session yes monoecious dioecious plant separately you have to write monoecious then put a hyphen write the examples if it is one also it is fine those who are able to find out more examples it's fine and perfect from which all sources you could get you could add me the answer okay monoecious Monoecious or monoecious and dioecious plant. Yes, I'll write it. Yes, you have to tell me the exam examples for a unisexual and a bisexual organism. I hope the question is clear for everybody. This is the question. You have to give me the examples. Okay, fine everybody. So you will be getting the chapter note of this chapter. Chapters not in the telegram group by today evening and also the MCQs of this chapter from the topmost books that I have in your uh, group. I'll post it by today evening. Okay. Amal was a bit busy today. That's why he was not able to take the class. Okay, he was also having a lecture, but he was a little busy today. That's why he couldn't take the lecture. But tomorrow, he will also be coming out with the lecture. Sometimes as the days passes, 
will be going with three, four lectures per day. Okay. If everything is fine from our side. Okay, guys. Bye bye. Don't waste. Uh, don't waste your time. Just don't waste your time walking hither and there. Okay. Just thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot. for your wonderful cooperation just simply i should say amazing class right amazing class with good response all throughout the entire year i want the support just bye bye take care see you in the evening sharp at 4:30 don't forget to join